Yeah. Awesome. Well, I think we only have one question left. Oh, sorry, guys. Chris. Talking too much. <laughs> no, 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 it's, no, it's okay. <laughs> this has been great. We, we definitely want to have you back if, if you're willing. Oh, absolutely. Maybe do it. Maybe do an entire episode on on, on PD because I think uh, yeah, I think we could do that. Would be, would be done today. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, we were talking about uh, players being human. Are we sure? PD's <laughs> yeah, that's true. Are we sure? Uh, yeah. I this guy's know. not just a robot, just <laughs> cranking out, you know, 30 yeah. goals a year. I, I yeah, whatever is that. Kawhi is, Kawhi is certainly no, not a human. No. So, uh, <laughs> no. But you look, at, you look at Kawhi, and I don't want to get off on a Raptors talk, because we were pretty excited about that here. But you look at how much his personality has changed Kyle Lowry. It's, it's changed that whole team. Mm. And, and if he isn't a, an argument for changing one guy can make a big difference that's him mm -hmm. okay. i'm a big i'm a big fan i, I love i love the time to basketball that's yeah. great yeah um well yeah connor did you have one more yeah. question or yeah or well, I have, was it my I have okay. one last one so yeah. like speaking of you know um guys with experience and uh, affecting like you know younger players and um you know making a difference with those with those types of uh those types of guys when we first met and kind of reaching back into this memory bank again uh, you offered me some advice and kind of pushed me towards continuing to work in hockey because you kind of said that the NHL needs some, you know, younger voices, some 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 new blood. And so, you know, I would I would honestly attribute a lot to where you know I am right now, working kind of in hockey essentially, um, you know, doing some data analysis uh, at this company that I'm at. Mm -hmm. uh, so you inspired me. So maybe All you right. could share <laughs> for our younger listeners, perhaps, which probably don't have any listeners right now to be honest um if, if people are wondering if they have a shot to work in hockey one day um uh, maybe you could share for us uh why you know you told me to to to, to push and continue to 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 pursue this do this well i think the very first time we met in in kingston it, it was clear that you had a, a real strong desire and a passion and you cared and, and you can tell you care about hockey and you can tell in, in, the, in your voices and all you guys when you're talking about it. Like you, you love hockey, you love sports and you love the Canucks and, and it, it comes across instantly. So I'd say to, to you and, and to those younger people starting out, you, you, if, as long as that fire's there, fuel it. If it means taking a course, if it means uh, meeting somebody who can help you out, if it means reading about, uh, picking up a book and reading something about uh, Astro Ball, for example, was a great book I read a couple of trips ago. Like anything that gets you better at what you do, then make sure you do that. Uh, because I think there is going to be room for people in the game for a long time. As long as they really want to get to where they want to go and they and they care about what they're doing, uh, you know, there's there's room for lots of people in the in the game and many different levels so i would say just pursue it like uh you know you never you know just don't get discouraged stay patient and, and, and go for it like you guys obviously are on something here and you like what you do and you enjoy each other's company and who knows where this is going to go I, I hope you all end up where you want to go I, I, and i think you can do that you're bright guys and and yourself just keep at it don't be don't be discouraged it's it's a breakthrough <laughs> Love I it. That's great. Chris, Honestly, wow. that's 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 great. <laughs> Thank One last you. super quick question: yep. What was your favorite jersey at the last or the uh, the four that were just released uh, from the Canucks? Yeah, I, I I'm a fan of the uh, the one with the whale, like the the, the, the traditional one, because um, like with the sea, like when they first went to Orca there, I sort of like that yeah. one yeah. because my uh, when my daughter was really young, she's like twenty five, uh, four twenty five now, and there, I found a picture, believe it or not, when she was probably six, going to hockey school with my son, and I was working for the Leafs, and my mother in law bought my son uh, an Ottawa jersey just to sort of. Make me angry, and my daughter, my, my, <laughs> my daughter's favorite player was Marcus Naslin, and, oh, and wow. never oh, knew I'd ever work for the awesome. Canucks, but she was huge Nazi fan, so that's uh, that's why I like wow, that jersey. Yeah. I have a picture of my daughter. West Coast Express. I mean, that's yeah, that's we we grew up watching those jerseys too, so or loving those 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 ones as well. Believe it or not, fellas, is my uh, I have a T-shirt my son gave me. Uh, we the North. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Unreal. Awesome. All right. Any any other uh, questions that you boys wanna wanna ask Chris before we let him go? I think we've taken up a decent mm -hmm. chunk of his of his day so I'm, far. Yeah. No I'm uh, all questioned I'm out. Same here. Yeah. Perfect. Um, well, in, in that case, we'll we'll let you go, Chris. We we really appreciate your time. Um, and for for those listeners who uh, enjoyed the the dialogue, we we have Chris McDonald here, Canuck scout. 
Um, we're, we're super lucky to have been able to chat with you today and uh, really appreciate some of the insight you shared. And I'm um, already uh, texting some of my friends to get them hyped up about the eventual release of this podcast because it was, uh, yeah, it was everything I could have imagined and, and more. And, and we really, really appreciate your time and, and the insight. And we look forward to, to draft night and coming up real soon here. So thanks again, Chris. Awesome, fellas. And thank you. It's my uh, first podcast and I'm, I'm, it was awesome. I, I, uh, I really appreciate you guys having me on and I, I'll, t- I'll talk hockey anytime. You guys want to have me back on sometime after the draft and we'll break it down. Just have Connor, oh, Connor, that would be Connor awesome. knows how to find me. All right? <laughs> That'd be Noted. Great. Noted. Almost right. too well, right, Thanks Chris? so much. <laughs> no, that's good. All good, Thanks, boys. Chris. Take care. Thank you, Chris. Happy, Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Father's Take day. care. Good talking. Happy Father's Day. Day. Right, Thank boys. you, Chris. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Take care. See ya. Bye now. See ya. So thanks to everyone who listened to that interview with Chris McDonald of the Vancouver Canucks. I know us on the podcast... As soon as we came off the air, we <laughs> there wasn't any usable audio. We were all kind of kind of shell shocked with how well that kind of went. We didn't really have anything or any expectations going in. It was our first interview, and you know Chris really is such a great guy. I've known him for a couple of years, and um, I knew it was going to go well, but I didn't really expect it to go that well. Um, all of his kind of all of the questions that we really asked were kind of cookie cutter. Um, and he kind of opened up to us and telling us about stories about Bo Horvat and his character, him going through the same kind of draft process of all of the kids going through the draft this year, how guys like Robert Thomas wanted to be just like Bo. Um, I also thought his uh, comments about analytics and data were really interesting and how it really kind of shapes his evaluation moving forward, how he really feels like it's going to be a big part um, of his work uh, as he, you know, understands the ramifications of things like big data and the things that he's learning at Queens uh, in that business uh, executive program, um, but at the same time, understanding, you know, where his biases are currently and um, that he's human. And I think that a lot of people underestimate the human nature and the human aspect of sports, and um, we do maybe dehumanize these guys who work at organizations like uh, in in pro sports. So. Um, and lastly, obviously, everyone's probably going to, to remember the Elias Pettersson stories uh, about his draft and how we all know how skilled this kid is. Uh, but to hear stories about what he wanted to do, um, you know, after he was drafted fifth overall, um, wanted to sit at the draft table uh, with Trevor and with Jim Benning, wanted to know who were the guys who were going to get drafted. Uh, under, and, and meeting everyone and you know the Sunday after the draft wanted to get a key to the facilities to start training like those are the stories those are the things uh, that you want in a player uh, who may be you know a, a future superstar in the NHL those are those are stories of, of, of legends so just wanted to thank Chris again for an amazing interview it was a lot of fun for us on the podcast uh, and hopefully we can have him on uh, again, in the near future, perhaps dissecting uh, the most recent draft that's going to be in, in the next couple of days, uh, and as well as breaking down some of the the free agency, uh, the free agency stories that are going to be coming up um, for the NHL as well as the NBA. So, just wanted to thank everyone again for for listening and tuning in um, to the Coast to Coast podcast. We're going to have a lot of, uh, hopefully, a lot of content coming out in the next little bit. Um, before the summer's um, kind of wrapping up, and uh, yeah, we'll have we'll have Clute play us out once and uh, once again. Thanks again, everyone. Have a great weekend.